we realized this was a need and that, you know, our grandparents probably weren't the only uh, senior citizens who needed help doing it. So then we kind of stepped in and decided to help other people. There's a lot of people, elderly, that can't um, make their self food. So I, we are making these so we can donate money and cookies for one good meal. Here at Stitch, we celebrate the ways everyday people are making this country a kinder place to live, one incredible story at a time. The COVID-19 pandemic upended many of the ways Americans traditionally give back to their communities. Here are stories of young Americans who refuse to let the virus stop them from helping others. Meet a pair of high school seniors who scheduled hundreds of appointments for seniors seeking the COVID-19 vaccine. We realized this was a need and that, you know, our grandparents probably weren't the only uh, senior citizens who needed help doing it. So then we kind of stepped in and decided to help other people. Cousins Jacqueline Teague and Amelie Beck created an email and posted a phone number on Facebook, letting strangers know that they would help them make appointments to get vaccinated in Louisville, Kentucky. While some appointments were simple, other clients needed multiple calls to get their appointments confirmed. I'm gonna send you some screenshots of where to go next and what, what buttons to click. The duo set up 250 appointments in less than two weeks. Along with online school, homework, and sports, it certainly kept them busy. We've got like, I think seven more we need to call, and then about 12 we need to email back. But with their own grandparents in mind, Jacqueline and Amelie made sure to answer all calls and emails within a number of hours. This pandemic has been so awful and so hard on everyone. I think just, you know, uh, the smallest difference that we can make, it, it feels really good. Beyond making appointments, many seniors face additional challenges when it comes to getting vaccinated. So one teen started a project to help transport seniors to vaccination sites and cover that cost. I thought I want to help humanity. I want to help everyone in the best way that I can. In his spare time, Kevin Monshadi came up with a unique concept to help seniors through the vaccination process. He started a GoFundMe with the goal of raising $10,000. The money would be used for rideshare vouchers to transport the seniors to their vaccination appointment and back. Driving by myself, I didn't really want to do in case I had any after effects. So we can get an Uber transportation from their uh, home or at wherever they're at to the vaccination center. Kevin's family has taught him the value of helping others, but they're not the only ones inspired by his plan. It makes me feel that I've done my job right as a parent, and of course my wife also. Being 13 and thinking about others um, is quite impressive. I'm so proud of Kevin and I'm so impressed. And it's an idea that we can really apply in real life. It's really going to help some people and I believe it will actually save lives. After his community was there for him, this young man was determined to pay it forward one toe at a time. All through the night and I went all the way from Mulberry to uh, Maldro pulling people out. With drivers sliding off the wintry roads all over the Fort Smith area of Arkansas, 19-year-old Nathan Bandy drove his truck around, towing drivers out of the snow. Nathan used Facebook to let others know he'd be there if they needed him. Facebook, you know, I've, I've made a post every night and every post I've made has skyrocketed 600 plus likes, comments, I mean, it's all there. I've got 45 people texting me right now. In the span of a few days, he pulled nearly 50 cars out of the snow. And Nathan knows just how important a helping hand can be. I had a pretty big accident, fell off a bridge, hit the ground at 100 foot, and if it wasn't for the community, you know, I wouldn't be here the, today as I am, you know, because they helped my family out and they helped me out a lot. And so, you know, this is one way to pay back for what everyone did for me. A nine-year-old baker in Kansas City, Missouri, is using her culinary skills to give back. There's a lot of people, elderly, that can't um, make their self food, so I, we are making these so we can donate money and cookies for one good meal. One Good Meal is the food delivery nonprofit where Emily Siddharth and her mom volunteer. We deliver um, at least once a week, usually multiple times a week, so we've really gotten to know a lot of the seniors and they're like family. In order to raise money to buy more baking ingredients, Emily has a side hustle where she bakes for friends and family. 
Mom says the combination of charity and baking was a recipe for success. Emily has a big heart and she loves cooking, so she put those two things together and was able to really create a blessing for one good meal. Emily auctioned off a tray of her confections and raised $600 thanks to a bidding war and some generous matching. That money was able to provide 130 meals to elderly residents in need. What was your reaction when you heard how much? I was speechless. Emily plans to continue donating her baked goods to seniors and urges others to give back too. So everyone could be happy and be able to have food and other things. Sometimes giving back is as simple as putting a smile on someone's face. That's what two little kids and their mom set out to do by building a snowman outside a local senior living facility. I like just packed up the kids and I was like, let's go. Megan Sabat was inspired by something she saw on Facebook. So rather than letting her little ones play in the snow at home, she called up Presidential Oaks, a senior facility in Concord, New Hampshire. We want to spread love. We want to spread kindness. We want these people to look out their window and smile because they get to see a snowman. Her kids, Chloe and Elijah, with help from mom, built their snowman in front of the windows to the facility's visitor center. We gave pennies for the eyeballs and found some, dug up some sticks for, for a nose and a button and, um, some arms and the kids have fun and we just, um, you know, it was a nice lesson. Because we were spreading around kindness. We were spreading around kindness. The family doesn't know any of the residents there, but Megan says that's the point. I just made sure that we talked about um, spreading kindness and doing random acts of kindness, um, you know, just to make the world a happier place. Did we make somebody smile today? Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to make somebody smile every day? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Love you, Mama. We hope you enjoyed these stories of kids and teens giving back to others amid COVID-19. How are young people in your area helping the community? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching Stitch.